video previous to this, we looked at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Commando toys. Just keeping with that theme, the toy that I want to look at today is uh, another Arnold Schwarzenegger themed toy. It's a funny one and it's one that's not for everyone and it is a bit stupid and uh, and I think it's fucking awesome. And it's one that I always reel out at Christmas. I always put up a picture of him at Christmas if that's like a little inkling into what we're going to be looking at today. In fact, I don't know why I'm being secretive because there's a fucking title above this video telling you what we're going to be looking at today. Um, but yeah, this is a new series that I'm doing called All Figured Out Show and Tell where the only person that sponsored the show is me because this is shit that I've bought myself over years like I said in my other video I've got a huge toy collection and over the course of my life like there's been times where I've definitely had the biggest vintage toy collection in England like home collection not in a shop or anything like that like actually in my house I've had like cabinets wall to wall all the way around this room multiple times full of stuff and then I get a bit ugh, claustrophobic with it all and I feel like it's taking over my life and I sell a bunch of it but I always keep a lot of it. I just sell stuff that is like, I don't really love that. But one thing that I will never sell is this guy. My Turbo Man. There we go. Open your wing, blood. <sighs> Do you know what's fucked? This has literally been working for 10 years. And then I've put it on today. And he stopped talking! How fucking mental is that? I've literally had this figure for 10 years and it's always worked. And today I've got it out to do a video on it and it stopped working. It normally says, it's turbo time. So if you've seen the movie, the Arnold Schwarzenegger film, Jingle All The Way, you know that throughout that film, he's trying to get the hottest toy that year. And if you was ever a kid that wanted a toy that was like the hottest toy of the year at the time, you'll know how fucking hard it was. And if your parents loved you a lot, then they'd go all the way around trying to get it. For Not for me personally, because I didn't want it, but my sister wanted a Furby. Uh, and the year that the Furby came out, like it was so fucking hard to get. So my mom had to queue at like five, six in the morning in town outside somewhere like, I think it was probably Toy Master at the time, because they were getting a shipment of them. And she stood in the queue. And it's a funny story. There's gonna be a couple funny stories in this one. It's a funny story. My mum was in the queue with a dude that she knew from school and they ended up talking to each other because they'd not met each other for ages. And uh, and, he, and she says, I'm getting a Furby for my daughter. And he were like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting one for my daughter or something like that. Anyway, he didn't end up getting it for his daughter. He was in the paper later that week for selling it for like five grand or something stupid. That's how much this shit was going for at the time. And if you, you've seen the film Jingle All The Way and you look at... Um, it's sort of Schwarzenegger and Sinbad are like back and forth against each other trying to get this toy for their kid at Christmas called Turbo Man. That's not far from the truth. There wasn't bomb scares involved and shit like that, but like when Cabbage Patch Kids came out, mothers were fucking rioting to get their kid that toy. So it's very much based on like a realistic premise. What do we tell our little girl Christmas morning? What are we supposed to say? You've been good, but Santa ran short? Those who can't get their own have been known to snatch from others. Where is she? Do you agree with her? Is that what Christmas is about? That's, I agree with you 100%. A full grown woman taking a doll out of a child's hair? The one that features in that film is this guy, Turbo Man, which is based on like a fake like Power Rangers uh, live action kind of TV show. And uh, it actually looks like a really fucking cool show. But in that film, he's trying to get this figure, the Turbo Man. So what they must have done is around that time, He's released it as an actual toy. I remember being in Skegness, and if you go to Skegness on holiday when you when you was a kid or anywhere like that, I'm from Sheffield in the north of England, so we'd go to Skegness. I'm sure if you was in like if you were down south, you'd go to Margate or or, or whatever. But um, they have a lot of like these like shitty discount toy shops when you go on holiday. It's the place where I got the Toxic Crusaders from when I was little, and, and a bag of other toys. But um, one of the shops I went into had a bagger turbo man now at this time i was a bit older i was going through that phase in your life where you don't really care about toys i collected toys but i collected like mcfarlane movie maniacs and spawn figures and like high detailed stuff i didn't want this kind of toy then even though i love schwarzenegger and i remember going in a discount store and they must have had a hundred of these figures boxed up just in a pile five five ten pound a pop and i, I did i didn't care about them and um and if only I knew then what I know now. Because these are really fucking rare now. Now it takes a fucking very specific toy collector to want one of these. You've got to be like me. You've got to love Schwarzenegger. You've got to love pop culture toys. And you've also got to like stuff that's a bit fucking weird and out there and stupid and uh, a, bit, a bit different. But to try and get one of these now, you'll either get one and then you'll find it and it'll be a nice price. Or you'll get some idiot putting like 200 quid on one. But the, the, either way... 
back when I saw them, there was piles of them for cheap. So it's a little bit different to the one from the show. I don't have it boxed. I wish that I did, but it, I, I think the boxed one does come with his boomerang. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if it does or if it doesn't, but it does have some kind of... Um, some kind of like holster on his leg where you put the boomerang in i'm also gonna try and put some batteries in this for the close-ups when i when i when i do the close-ups i'm gonna try and oh yeah there we go I'll, I'll open his back and put some batteries in so that you can see him light up and you can see him do his words and things like that so if you turn his button on his legs light up with green LEDs going up and down and then his back opens up if you press a button his wings come out now the one in the movie is ever so slightly different to this you'll notice if you see the ones from the film I think they are a little bit bigger a bit chunkier and all the gold on the figure is chrome it's like shiny gold now I'm not sure if that's the ones in the boxes or the special edition one at the end that you can win if you get called out in the parade by Turbo Man, which ends up being Schwarzenegger dressed up as Turbo Man, but that figure is ever so slightly different to this one, and I, I, I'd only fucking dream how much one of those is worth if you can get all the like an original prop one. But it's just a really cool fucking toy, and I wanted to show it, seeing as though we're doing this little show and tell series and talking specifically about Schwarzenegger and action figures. It's not from a film that was an 18 that kids shouldn't be watching that they release toys for anyway, but it's still a really cool fucking item. And with Christmas coming up, you can guarantee that there's going to be some pictures of it on my Instagram at. Theo underscore Kane underscore Slimehouse. Shameless self-promotion there. So if you did like this video, keep checking back for more. I've done loads of all figured out episodes. Normally we review all the fresh stuff, the new Super 7, the new reaction figures, and Nima Studios sends me all the American exclusives to look at. But in this show and tell series, I'm just going to be looking at my own personal collection of vintage 80s toys and 70s toys and 90s toys and just anything that I've got that's weird that I love. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But for now, that's all we've got time for. Big up yourself for watching, I'm Theo Kane, all figured out, Slimehouse TV, and we'll catch you with the next one. Boom. Tradition's growing.